about being saved or getting right with God. It's not the devil. It's not just this preacher. Brother Fieldback, praise the Lord for that day he came where you were. He's speaking to you, sir. He's speaking to you, ma'am. What's he saying? He's not saying stay in the pew. If somebody said you stay in the pew, that's the devil. But he's saying, just as you are, without one plea, come, come. You'll do one of two things with that thought God's put in your mind. You'll reject it, trample it under feet, and go on, and no telling what sin holds for you on down the road. But if you'll be like them lepers, if we can just make it over to the enemy church, or God's really not your enemy, but you think you are when you're saved, when you're unsaved. And they, they obeyed what God put in their heart. Look at this, I've got to close. Look at this. Brother Grammy, they were undeserving sinners. Yes. Of God. They were undeserving of God's mercy. But then they become undeserving recipients of God's grace. They had an unusual responsibility, an urgent responsibility to go tell others. But unusual reward for obeying God. It's not just you. If you're here tonight lost, you probably have family members that's unsaved as well. How many families have we saw saved because one, were you the first one in your family got saved? And now there's old Matt and the others. Hey, look at me, please. Look at me, please. Look at me, please. Are you hearing something in your mind? Are there thoughts going on in your mind? Is there an argument going on inside? One says, go to the altar, and one says, uh 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 If you'll follow that voice, It'll bring you to the bread and satisfy the longing in your soul. Let's stand together, please. Heads about, eyes are closed.